Okay, let's look at some volume questions. These questions are from the Targeting Math Workbook. All right. Um, so this is the worksheet seven of the volume chapter of the Targeting Math Workbook. A rectangular tank has a base area of eight meters square. The tank contains 56 meter cube of water. Find the height of water level in the tank. So base area is 8 meter or 8 squared meters tank contains 56 meters squared cubic meters of water find the height of the water in the tank so height is equals to volume divided by the base area so if you cannot remember this formula just remember if i have a tank my base area times my height will give me my volume all right so base area multiplied by my height equals to my volume all right i can also do it as a triangle volume base area and height so if i want to find my height then i need to take my volume divided by my base area which is equals to volume is 56 meter cubic meters divided by base area is 8 meters squared uh, or 8 squared meters equals to that's the answer and that's my height a tank has a square base of 900 cm squared water from three bottles are poured into the tank each bottle has 1.5 liters of water what is the height of the water level in this tank so let's draw my triangle volume base area times your height is equals to your volume so base area is 900 c uh, squared centimeters and i want to find my height so to find my height i need my volume over here so volume of three bottles is equals to 1.5 liters times three equals to 4.5 liters so my height is equals to my volume divided by my base area equals to 4.5 over base area is 900 cm squared so we need to remember to convert because this is in liters and this is in uh, squared centimeters so we need to convert liters to cubic centimeters so one liter equals to 1000 cubic centimeters so 4.5 liters equals to 4500 cubic centimeters so over here it's 4500 cubic centimeters over 900 squared cm so equals to that's the answer in cm all right so that's how you find cm in this question it's important for you to remember to convert your 4.5 liters to cubic centimeters and that's because your base area is in uh, squared centimeters so that's why you need to convert it so now we are looking at level 2 worksheet 8 a tank measures 60 cm by 50 cm by 40 cm filled with 72 liters of water what is the height of the water level how much more water is needed to fill the height completely so volume base area times height uh, so the question also says that this is the height and this is the base area okay so height if you look at this is volume divided by base area equals to volume is 72 liters divided by base area is 60 cm times 50 cm so I'm writing the CM here because I just want you to be careful uh, of the CM and not be tricked by it. So again, you need to change from liters to uh, cubic centimeters. All right. So one liter, just write this down, it goes to 1000 cubic centimeters. So I have 72 liters equals to 72,000 cubic centimeters centimeters all right this must you must be very careful with this huh this is the only part about uh, volume that's a bit tricky so 72 
thousand divided by sixty times fifty equals twenty four cm. All right, so in this container, in this container, it is being filled to twenty four cm. And the whole container, the whole height is 40 cm. So this part is actually 40 minus 24 equals 16 cm. So there's another 16 cm more. So how much more water is needed to fill the tank completely? So fill the tank equals 2. So I need volume, right? Filling the tank. So base area times height. Base area I have already. So it's 60 times 50 times another 16 cm. Equals 48,000 cubic centimeters. Or if I want to change to liters, I divide it by 1,000. So it's 48 liters. That's the answer. So in this question, you need to know that the Total is 40, you need to find the uh, height first, which is 24. So minus away 24, you know you're left with 16. After you get, once you get your 16, then you just multiply it uh, with the base area. Then you can find the volume. Remember to change your volume to liters or cubic centimeters. Just pick the one that uh, the question is asking for. So let's look at this question. Tank A is 30 by 10 by 20 cm tall. So 30 by 10 by 20. So this is tank A. Tank B is 50 by 12 by 30, 50 by 12 by 30, so this is tank B. Tank A is completely filled with water, tank B is one quarter filled with water. So just one quarter filled with water. Tank B is completely filled with water. All the water from tank A is poured into tank B, so all the water from tank A is poured into tank B. What is the new volume of water in tank B? What is the new height of the water level in tank B? So again, we write down our triangle. Volume is our base area times our height. New volume of water in tank B. So volume of water in tank A first. We need to find everything from A is poured into B, right? So we need to find the volume of water in A is 30 times 10 times 20. And that's the answer. So volume of water in B is equals to 50 times 12 times 1 quarter, because it's 1 quarter field, right? So 1 quarter of your height, which is 30, all right? So this part is a bit tricky. You need to understand this is 1 quarter of 30. So after that, you can get your answer. So new volume in B is equals to uh, this answer plus this answer. And the answer is 10500 cubic centimeters. So what's the new height of the water level in B? So height is volume divided by base area. So new height of B equals to volume divided by base area is equals to 10500 divided by base area is 50 times 12 equals to, that's the answer, in cm. Alright, so in this question, some of the tricky things that you need to realize is this. So when I say it's one quarter filled with water, you need to take one quarter times the height. And then after that, uh, you need to find the original of volume A, add this, and then you get the new uh, volume B. And then to get a new height of B, you just take the volume divided by base area, and you get this. Okay, let's look at this question. Tank base is 75 times 60, 75 times 60. Empty rectangular tank is filled with water at a rate of 12 liters per minute. So 12 liters per minute. Takes half an hour to fill the tank to the brim. Half an hour to fill to the brim. What is the height of the tank? So you have 12 Wait, uh, let me just rub this away. You have every minute, so you need to find how much, how many, how much water, what's the volume of water that has been filled in. So one minute is 12 liters. So half an hour is 30 minutes, is 30 times 12 equals 
360 liters. What is the height of the tank? So I have my volume, base area, and my height. So I want to find my height is volume divided by base area. So height of the tank equals to volume is 360 liters divided by base area, 75 times 60. Again, need to change your liters to uh, cubic centimeters. So 360 times 1000 to change to cubic centimeters over 75 times 60. And that's your answer in CM. So in this question, it's quite simple and straightforward. First, you need to find the amount of volume that has been going in. So I gave you one minute is 12 liters. So altogether, 30 minutes, right? Uh, half an hour to fill the tank. So it's 30 minutes. So it's 30 times 12. And that's 360 liters. So 360 di uh, divided by the uh, base area, you get the height. So volume divided by base area, you get the height. So you need to change liters to, to cubic centimeters. So 360 times 1,000 to change it to cubic centimeters divided by the base area, and that's how you get the height. So now we are looking at worksheet 9 of your targeting math volume questions. Okay, so two identical containers A and B were completely filled with water, so A and B are identical containers. A was poured into an empty tank X, so tank X is this dimensions so it's 40 by 30 by 25 b was poured into tank y y is this which is here all right which is 25 by 24 by 55 tank x was four fifth filled with water find the height of the water in tank y so these two are the same containers tank x was four fifth filled with water so volume of water in x is equals to base area times the height which is also equals to 40 times 30 times 4 fifth filled with water so 4 fifth times the height which is 25 so you will be able to find the volume of water in x which is 24,000 cubic centimeters so this is also equals the volume of A and the volume of B. So volume of X equals to the volume of A equals to the volume of B, which is also equals to the volume of Y. So therefore, if I want to find the height of Y equals to the volume of Y divided by the base area of Y. So volume of Y is 24,000 divided by the base area is 25 times 24 equals 40 cm. And that's the answer. So in this question, you need to realize that my A goes to this and my B goes to this, but they are the same volume over here. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so once I find my base area times my height of my volume of X, because I'm given a 4 fifth, a 4 fifth is over here, then I know I have 24,000. And once I know I have 24,000, so that's actually my volume of X, my volume of X, my volume of A, my volume of B, and my volume of Y. So if I have, I have my volume of Y, then I take, uh, to find the height, I just take the volume divided by the base area, and I get my answer over here. So I have two tank. Tank A, my base is 30 by 40, which is here, 30 by 40. Tank B is 30 by 20 by 15. So it's 30 by 20 by 15. So tank A and B are two are rectangular tanks as shown below. At first, tank A was completely filled with water. So tank A was completely filled with water. And tank B was empty. A tap was turned on to drain water from A to B. So going in like that, drain water from A to B at a rate of 10 liters per minute. When tank B was completely filled with water, the height of the water level in tank A became two-third the original height. So this is one-third and this is two-third the original height. So how long was the tap turned on to drain water? What was the height of tank A and how many minutes would it take to empty tank A completely? So 
if you look at here, right, uh, when tank B was completely filled with water, height of water in tank A became two thirds the original height, which means one third of tank A is actually equals to tank B. Right? You must understand this part. Huh? One third, because two thirds left, so one third of tank A is equals to uh, tank B. So let's find volume of B is equals to 30 times 20 times 15 equals 9,000 cubic centimeters. So one third of A is equals to the volume of B and it is equals to 9,000 cubic centimeters. So tank A is equals to 9,000 times 3, right? Because one third of A is 9,000, therefore A is 9,000 times 3. So that's 27,000 cubic centimeters. So question one, how long was the tap turned on to drain water? So I drained away this amount of water. So I know that it's 10 liters in one minute. All right. And I also know that 10 liters. So I need to convert this to cubic centimeters. I need to times 1000. So it's 10 thousand cubic centimeters in one minute. So I drained out 9,000, therefore I take this divided by this times this, so it's 9,000 uh, 9, over 10,000 times one minute equals 0 0.9 minutes. So that's question part A. So part two is what was the height of tank A? So I want to find what is the height of tank A over here. So I know my volume of A is, okay, so if I want to find the height of A, I need to take the volume of A divided by the base area of A. So I know my volume is 27,000. My base area is 30 times 40. So it's 30 times 40 equals 22.5 cm. So that's my uh, height of A. And in how many minutes would it take to empty tank A completely? So I need to find, I know I have 10,000 in one minute. So I have 27,000. That would be 27,000 divided by 10,000 times one minute equals 2.7 minutes. That's the answer.